the Scot to know Stacey Solomon as a singer when she came third on the X Factor. That was seven years ago, would you believe? And she had a Christmas number one. Well, she went on to be crowned Queen of the Jungle in 2010. Last year, she competed in what's been called TV's most dangerous game show. That was The Jump, of course. Stacey's also a busy mum of two young boys, but she's found time to write her second romantic novel, Walk the Line, which is out now. Stacey, it's lovely to see you. So nice to see you too. And tell me about Walk the Line. Is it a follow-up to the one before? Yes, or is, is it the same up. characters that we've got to know? Exactly the same characters. Right. It's a little bit more into the relationship this time rather than each separate life of Charlotte and Blake. Right. So it's getting a little bit more in-depth. It's just me, basically, <laughs> writing my fantasies while single. <laughs> and like, just good. going through like, oh, I could meet someone like this. And right. <laughs> and just tick, tick the boxes. Get the perfect exactly. man. Exactly. Of course, you, like you said, you wrote this when you were single. You're now, of course, you've got a lovely chap. Yay. Oh, how's it going with him? He's gone really, really well. Yeah, I'm so, good. I feel really lucky. He's lovely. This is Joe. <laughs> Joe Swash. Who, of course, he, he is very, very, um, you know, we, we know him from uh, I'm a Celebrity as well now, because, of course, he does the show. Now, that would be something that the two of you, have you thought about working together? I mean, that would be so Wouldn't much that be fun. Great? Yeah, it would be amazing. I'd It'd love be really that. Good. What a dream job. I um. know. <laughs> you could, because you could go over there. Because I actually think um, sometimes the, the spin off show is even funnier. It's so than the much main show. fun. I and did I love it last the main show. Year, but, yeah. And I had such a laugh. It was like being on holiday with all your mates. <laughs> <laughs> it was really the funniest thing ever. So I I don't know. I think you and Joe could do that show pretty well. I'd love to do that. I think it would work. Oh. I think it would work. I really do. So everything going well. Where, where did you guys meet and how did it all happen? We met. We've met loads of times. Of we sort of crossed paths and been in each other's company. But we actually spent the most time with each other in Australia. Right. So yeah, that was where. So it was I really. Guess. It was really when you were over doing the doing the spin-off show that you kind of got together. Exactly. I guess. Oh, yeah. See? It was. A, a, yeah. I get all embarrassed talking about it because it's like I know that he'll be watching and. Oh, it will be embarrassed. It's lovely. It's really good. What is it? What do you think it's about him that makes you click? He's normal. He's just so normal and down to earth and lovely and reminds me of me and my family. See, that's really good. And, and you've got a lot, in, a lot in common as well. Yeah, a lot exactly. In common. And he gets on well with the kids, so that's the main thing. He too, is amazing. He? He's just an amazing guy. Aww. He's going to have such a big head after this show. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's still in bed asleep. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he's watching you and that's absolutely fine. So. The writing um, is obviously something that you are very passionate about and yeah. that you love to do. But what about singing? Are you still singing? Are you still doing that? I still sing. I'm so... I just feel really lucky. I get to do a bit of everything. I get to go in the studio and write and record. Sure. And I love writing. It's like I can get lost in a fantasy world. You know, when you just want to get away from everything, I can just sure. lose myself and, and write, whether it's writing songs or writing books. I just really enjoy it. It's like one good. of my favourite hobbies. And you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I've got a few not. more grey hairs. No, you haven't changed a bit. It's fantastic. And everybody, you're a very, very positive person. You know, your glass is it's not just half full, it's totally It's overspilling. Full. It's overspilling, <laughs> which is great. But what I think was really good was you you spoke out about having postnatal depression. Yes. And Stacey, I thought that was a really brave and very, very good thing to do because so many women suffer this and they suffer in silence I and think... they think they're the only ones. Yeah, I, I felt like I was a really bad person for feeling that way. And when I started speaking to other mums, I just thought it would be really important to get the message out there and make people feel like you're actually a really normal person. We all go through different emotions and I'm such a positive person so sure. it was really strange to me to mm. feel that way and I really enjoyed doing the documentary and no, it was great. trying to open people's eyes and tell them you're normal, it's okay. Absolutely and it's kind of that way well if somebody like you can happen to someone like you, it absolutely can, can happen, happen to, to anybody anyone. and it's not your fault. No and you, you can know? get through it and, and learning to accept it is the first part of getting through it and I think of hopefully course. the more awareness you bring to it the easier it is to accept. Well exactly and I think it's that thing of sometimes we, we think we can't ask for help because especially if you've got a baby that's the perfect gorgeous healthy little baby yeah. and you've not got much to worry about other than the fact that you've got to bring this child into, you know, and bring exactly. the child up but it's that thing of you feel a bit guilty. You feel selfish yeah. you feel like so many people out there have got obviously got it so much worse and they mm. um, have much bigger problems so you feel like there's something wrong with me there's exactly. I shouldn't feel like this but mm. actually it really is so normal and it's, there's so much going on with your body at the time and you've of just course. got to accept it and then how do I deal with this? 
Exactly, exactly. Are the books going to be different now that you have found true love? Um, <laughs> the next one is it going to be a I'm, little I'm bit different? I'm thinking of putting a little twist on book three. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do more? Are you going to do yeah, more? The, the, it's a sequel. It's a three-part sequel. That's so great. there's one more to come after good this one. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. And it was so lovely to see you the other night at the High Street Fashion Awards. I had Thank the you for best coming time. along. Thanks for having me. It was lovely, and it you looked a... absolutely beautiful. There you are. Look, everybody oh. kissy kissy. <laughs> and it was just, oh, it was just great. It was great. Oh, I had such a fantastic time. It was great to see you. It really was lovely. Good luck with this. It's out right now, Stacey. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it is out right now. It's Walk the Line, the best things in life. Perfect holiday reading. Yay, yeah, thank you so much. Perfect holiday reading. Love Always you, good to see you. Thank you, my love. <laughs> thank you very much.